Joining us now from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, is former Department of Transportation official Mary Schiavo. Mary, good morning to you. Good morning. I think passengers across the country will breathe a, a sigh of relief right now. The Passenger Bill of Rights, two years in the making. Why did this bill take so long? Well, it took so long because the airlines were opposed. And actually, some of these recommendations have been uh, pending since the Clinton administration, some as late as uh, 1997. Uh, this, this was originally proposed and put on the books in November of 2007, and yeah. the airlines, both the majors and the regionals, objected. That was after that, uh, that JetBlue uh, Valentine's Day uh, issue. Why, you, you look at the language. It says food, water, working bathrooms. I mean, it would seem to the passenger that would be pretty obvious. Did that really need to be in the language here? Well, actually, it did because of the few instances. Now, putting it in perspective, there are 557,000 flights a month, and about 88 on average are delayed over three hours. But for those passengers on those 88 flights, it is truly just unbelievably uh, stressful. I've been on some of them myself. I'm a road warrior. Yeah. And they did need it because the airlines simply would not do it voluntarily, although they promised they would. Now, according to the new bill, if the airlines don't comply, they could be fined over $27,000 per passenger. But those, uh, those penalties are negotiable. What does that mean, the penalties are negotiable? Well, the uh, Department of Transportation and the Federal Aviation Administration can propose penalties, but when I was Inspector General, for example, we actually look at what they actually paid, and it's usually about 10 cents on the dollar. And of course, everyone's focusing on the airlines paying $27,000 per passenger. Not to be overlooked is the fact that the government figured up that last year passengers lost $14 billion themselves waiting on the airlines. So this is to even the score a little bit, and it's only about 0.02% of the flights that are late. All that right. late. Mary Schiavo, thank you very much for taking the time and joining us this morning. We do appreciate it. Thank you. My yeah. pleasure.